Hey everybody, I am hiding in my closet. <laughs> Not really hiding. Um, well, kind of, because I am trying to get my last minute Christmas presents wrapped for the kids. And um, we are officially in the new house and the packing is coming along great. Uh, excuse me, the unpacking is coming along great. So to my surprise, it really hasn't been that bad. Um, we, you know, moved everything in. We kind of just hit like one room at a time and we're getting pictures hung and getting things decorated. And we did get the Christmas tree up last week, thankfully. So Christmas is just what, a week and a half away, two weeks away, something like that. So um, I'm excited that we were able to get that up for the kiddos. So um when we moved over, we everything was a pretty smooth transition. We actually did end up having to kind of do, I, I would say, like a double move because we weren't sure if, like I was telling you guys, if the city inspector was going to get the final inspection done on time for us to move straight from the farmhouse into the new house. And um, we were like down to the day before our buyers were supposed to come and get the keys to the property and we couldn't wait any longer. You know, we had to make sure that all of our stuff was out of the house so that we could clean it and get it ready for them to take over. And so what we ended up doing was renting a storage unit and moving everything into storage except for what we needed. Um, and it's funny because we're actually kind of used to that, you know, with the military and moving around all the time. Um, there's been many times in our military career where our household goods did not make it when we made it to our new destination or they didn't make it at the same time. And so we had to live out of suitcases and stuff for a while with temporary living arrangements. So it's kind of like we feel like we're like experts at it, really. <laughs> we know exactly how to do it and it's like no biggie. But um so that part did kind of suck, though, because we were really hoping for just a smooth move right from the one house into the other. And we ended up having to pack everything up, take it to the storage unit, unpack it into the storage unit. And then we literally like that night got the OK that the inspector came out and we could get the keys to the new house. And we're like, really? We had just moved everything into storage, and it's like backbreaking. I mean, me and Joe, we've had so many amazing people offer to help us. I mean, friends and neighbors and stuff, and I love that. But I don't know. It's it's not that we don't want the help. We're just used to doing things on our own. You know, we have moved so much with the military that we um, haven't really been close to family physically um, moving around like we do. So we just do things on our own. So we're quite the team and we just knock it out and get it done. So, um, but we got the okay that night. So we're like, of course, adrenaline kicks in and the excitement that, oh, we, we get the keys to the house. We can move in tonight. And we were able to cancel the reservations that we had tentatively made at the hotel as a plan B. Um, and so we went over and loaded up trailer, tra a trailer full of household goods and everything. And we came and started moving everything into the new house and spent the next probably, um, thankfully this all happened like on a Thursday or Friday night and Joe had the time off work and we were able to just do trailer loads and get it all into the house, like within a day and a half. So, um, that went great. But anyway, I'm just kind of trying to still unpack. Like I have this mountain of clothes back here. I don't know if you guys can see this. Look at this mountain of clothes, right? But there's already so much hanging up. Who in the world needs this many clothes? It's ridiculous. Um, I really need to like have the rule, like when you buy one thing, you throw one thing away or you donate one thing, right? So, um, but we're just taking it day by day, trying to get everything done. And um, just a little update on our... Um, our uh, venture of adoption for this little boy. I kind of mentioned that briefly in the last video. Um, you know, we are, we finished everything as far as our home study, all of that stuff has been done. And the last thing that we were waiting on was our home visit for the inspection of the house. You know, they've got a, a checklist for us that we have to um, comply with making sure that the guns are locked up, making sure that all the medicine is kept in a locked uh, medicine cabinet and things like that. Um, so we just have to go through and make sure that all those boxes are checked. And then me and my personality, I'm like, I need the house to be clean. I need it to be 
fairly unpacked and put away and pictures hung and everything so that it looks decent when she comes in here. So once that's all done, they're going to send the package off to um, his caseworker and then it's kind of in their hands for approval. And we did have a conference call with his caseworker and his therapist um, the other day and she gave us a time frame of best case scenario, possibly having him place with us in March. Um, worst case scenario, it could be as late as like summer, like June, July. And she said that part of that is because it's interstate. You know, he's not here in Virginia. We're bringing him in from another state. And so it's just a process. And, and it's tough because he's living in a center and he's not in a foster home. He's actually in a center and um, he's completed all of his programs and his requirements and stuff there. And so I think that he's just ready. Um, not right now. Thank you. I'll get it in a second. I think that he's just, <laughs> joke. <laughs> no, I don't want your sausage. I'll get it in a second. Joe cooked sausage. It sounded really bad. Um, he just like, He's in there making breakfast and he just like sticks his hand in the closet with a piece of sausage. But anyway, um, so yeah, everything is done. It's just like a waiting game. It's paperwork and stuff. So um, I can't imagine how hard it is for little Jackson. You know, he's he's young. He's eight years old and he's probably as, as impatient as we are. He's it's I feel like he has it worse. You know, he's stuck in the center where he's been for over a year and um it takes a toll you know he sees all these other kids being uh, adopted and he's still there and so we definitely don't want regression he's come so far and made so much progress in his um in his treatment and his um programs and and therapy and things that he's been a part of in that center that I just, I don't want it to be detrimental to him that this process takes so long because he doesn't understand it. You know, just like Parker doesn't understand it. Parker's like, why can't I have him now? Like, um, so, but we're excited, nervous, but we're excited. And we did buy the boys bunk beds and got those set up for them. So everything's ready for when Jackson comes and we're just kind of playing the waiting game right now. So in the meantime, we might, um, we did go fly and see him the first week of November for the first time. That's when we first met him. And we might try to fit in another um, visit up there, maybe maybe the end of January, February timeframe. Um, but in the meantime, we are calling him regularly. We can have phone calls with him and they're trying to get it approved to where we can have video chats with him as well. And the boys are writing letters back and forth and we just sent him out a Christmas box and just trying to keep his spirits high to let him know that we're still here um, and we're not going anywhere. So yeah, it's interesting stuff. So I think 2020 is going to be... Um, crazy. It's going to be a whirlwind because, you know, we're in the new house and um, so much has changed and hopefully the adoption will work out and they can get him placed with us and we can kind of start that journey with him here as a part of our family. So that'll be kind of neat. But um, anyway, I just, you know, I just haven't checked in in a little bit and um, I, I want to do like an official um, video and I want to do a little tour of the house and show you guys the new property and I will um and just like everything is so crazy you know getting my camera out and doing the editing and all that um it's just like with everything going on it's just um it's a little bit easier just to pop on and do this little live recording which I guess it's not really live because it records and then I post it after I do it but um I can't to my knowledge, um, I, I can't really edit this or I don't know how to edit it. So hopefully I don't mess anything up <laughs> in the beginning. My volume was down and I turned it up. So hopefully you guys heard the beginning of it, but I hope you guys are enjoying this Christmas season and just really taking the time to slow down because <sighs> that is what it is about. And we can get so wrapped up in craziness and we threw a move in the mix. And the other day I, I, got all the stuff out to do Christmas cookies with Parker and Lexi. And it was like the whole family. We ended up doing Christmas cookies for like, it was like freaking three hours. I think, I don't know, almost to the point where we were like, okay, do we really have to decorate these? Can we just leave them plain? <laughs> but I'm like, no, you know what? Boxes are everywhere. Things are a mess, but we are going to break out the flour and the frosting and we're going to make some Christmas cookies. And we did. Um, and then we decorated the Christmas tree. So that was great. So it's just important to not get lost in, in all the craziness and um, 
just remember that this is about family and slowing down and remembering um, our Lord and the reason for this season. So anyway, we will continue unpacking and I will check in with you guys soon. And hopefully I'll have things squared away where we can do like a walkthrough and show you the new house is just perfect. The builder um, really paid attention to detail in this house and did a really good job. We're just super impressed. I mean, everything down to our shower is just such good quality. I mean, we're just very excited about it. The living room, kitchen, and dining room is just all open concept, which is really different from what we had in the farmhouse. And it's really cool. I'm loving it. I can be in the kitchen cooking and the kids can be in the living room and we're kind of like all together and I really like it. So the chickens are doing good. We've got the bees. We brought the bees and the um, beehives are all set up in the back and we've got the chickens set up back there. We do need to get a fence up. That's the one thing. There's no fence on this property. And it's like, ugh, you know, having to take the dogs out um, on a leash because we do have a, um, we live on a main um, a road, you know, city maintained road. So we do have traffic out here, cars and stuff. And um, we do have some neighbors that are kind of over a little bit, but they have dogs. So we can't just let the dogs out to go to the bathroom. So that kind of sucks. We're like going out multiple times a day to actually walk them so they can go to the bathroom. I'm like, ain't nobody got time for that. I need to be able to just open the door and be like, go oh, be free. So we've got to get a fence up and we've got to get a fence up quick. So we price that out and we've got our plan of what we want to have. So um, that's probably going to be our first project is getting a fence up for the, the animals. And then we are going to let the chickens out to free range once that fence is up. Because right now they don't have a big, huge chicken run like we built them on the farm. They are in a, a, a coop and it has an inside and it's got a little outside that's chain linked, you know, um, but their blondie our main rooster he's kind of like balking back and forth the fence like what is up with y'all y'all are tripping you got me stuck in here with all these girls uh, -uh open the gate <laughs> i think he's just like yeah so they're okay for now though they're they're safe and they're warm and they've got you know plenty of food and water and i went and got them some mealworms and stuff from tractor supply and of course we always have our chicken bowl on the counter which used to always be our pig bowl where we put all the scraps and um, that was weird for me once we got rid of the last pig because we don't waste anything, anything. Any scraps went right into the pig bowl and the pigs got it. Um, but now we have a chicken bowl and it's crazy because the chickens pretty much eat just about everything. And it's good for them, especially right now when they're not really getting to free range. Um, I don't just like them on a chicken grain diet. So they're getting all kinds of um, veggies and goodies and stuff from our cooking and scraps. So that's good. But all right. Well, I hope you guys are doing well. This was just a check-in video, a kind of chatty. So um, just wanted to say hi and give you guys an update. And I'll pop on again. And if I don't before Christmas, which I'm hoping to, but if I don't, I wish you guys an amazing Christmas with your families. All right. Take care.